let us talk about the sectors one by one industrial sector earlier when you had to set up an industry you required to take license for the government there were many restrictions that were imposed you could produce only a definite amount of good you could not produce more than that like if you were you could produce only 10000 cars in a year or 5000 scooters in 6 months that kind of restrictions were imposed other than that you needed licenses for setting up an industry which meant that it was a long process it had to go through many stages of government approvals so it was not very conducive and not very uh, appreciative for the industry sector to grow and besides over the years it also became a very monopolistic approach it was the big houses that would get all the licenses so in a way the competition was also not there because everybody was aware that there are certain big houses which are going to go into the or which will get the opportunity to produce so the industries was not growing though the government had thought that if they will undertake this sector it will grow rapidly it will provide more of employment but it did not happen so so it was realized that in 1991 that we need to change this system and that is when industrial licensing was abolished earlier you needed to have a license for most of the industries now it was said that it would be licenses would be required only for a section industry that was strategic and important from the point of view of security of the country which were important from the environmental point of view or of hazardous chemicals or in case of defense so that was only there were specified areas where licensing was required in 1991 18 industries were kept which required licensing but recently it has been reduced and there are just five industries that require licensing they are the industries that deal with brewing of alcoholic drinks and the makers of cigars and cigarettes or tobaccos uh, or electronic aerospace and defense equipments or hazardous chemicals and all these types of industry require licensing similarly for public sector the sector that was conserved by the uh, government that its production would be done only by the government sector at in 1991 there were eight such industries there were certain mining industries defense and atomic energy and rail transport etc but recently there are just two industries that are reserved for the public sector they are atomic energy and rail transport in atomic energy the substances that are used for the energy uh, production of atomic energy that are enrolled in the government act they are also reserved for public sector MRTP Act 1969, which was there uh, before reforms, which was the Monopolistic and Restrictive Trade Practice Act 1969 was there, in which if a company wanted to expand or if it wanted to merge with another company or for amalgamation purposes, it had to take prior permission of the government, prior approval from the government. But it was abolished and it was replaced by the Competition Act 2002 which was further amended twice in the year 2007 and 2009. So now we have Competition Act, the industries are regulated by Competition Act 2002.